Uh, good morning, everyone. I appreciate everybody being here. I'd like to welcome everyone this morning to honor our servicemen and women. I would like to thank Sheriff Tim Pounds for acknowledging the 77, not all present, brave men and women in their sacrifice for our country and their continued service to our community. These men and women standing here, sitting, um, some couldn't be here today. We have one active member in Afghanistan right now. We have a combined total of 630 service years to our military and country. We have 41 representing the Army, six representing the Navy, 19 representing the Marines, five representing the Air Force, and six representing the National Guard. These pins that will be given to them today from the sheriff is a small token they will wear in their Class A or B uniforms. It is our way from the Sheriff's Department to hope that the small token will also be used as a unique symbol that helps bridge a gap between the relationship between a deputy and veteran citizens. Thank you to all of your service and commitment to the Douglas County Sheriff's Department in our country. Okay, we're gonna say the prayer. I guess if you would, bow your heads, please. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we just thank you, Lord, that we're here today, Lord. We thank you uh, for each and every person that's here that has served our country the way that they have served. Lord, we just ask you to bless them in their sacrifices. Please honor those sacrifices, honor the giving that they have given, and, and just return it to them, Lord, uh, many times over, Lord. Lord, please bless this service that it would be according to your will and your glory, Lord, and we thank you in Jesus' name. Okay, now we're going to have um, LaTanya Folds come and sing the Star Spangled Banner. Good morning. <clears throat> Y'all can all see it. Good morning. 
first off, I appreciate the honor of uh, being able to stand up here and uh, give some remarks. Uh, so you guys just bear with me. Uh, Sheriff Pounds, Chief Connor, and Colonel Oliver, and other guests. Thank you for coming today. Um, to my fellow veterans, thank you for your service to our great country, and thank you for your continued service to our community. Uh, Sheriff Pounds, I would like to say thank you on behalf of myself and all the veterans represented here today for recognizing us today um, for our service to our country. <laughs> Across this great country and throughout the world, Americans will pause Sunday to honor our brave fighting men and women who for more than 200 years have underwritten our freedom by their duty, honor, and selfless service. The writer Michael D. Montaigne once said, Valor is stability, not of legs and arms, but of courage and the soul. This is so true because without your courage to serve, we would not be the nation we are today. We recognize that all of our veterans have given something of themselves to this country, and some have given all laying down their lives to defend the freedoms we hold so dear. Today, as we reflect on the blessings of our liberty, we ask our Heavenly Father that we may be faithful stewards of the freedom we have been granted. Let us never forget that we cannot rightfully celebrate the joy of our freedom without remembering the great price paid for that freedom. We stagger at the eternal debt we owe to the untold number of American veterans who chose to set aside their personal ambitions and dreams to assure the well-being of our great nation. We the living are indeed the beneficiaries of those who made tremendous sacrifices for the advancement and sur surety of our liberty. The service members that we honor today come from all walks of life, but they share several fundamental qualities amongst each other. They possess courage, pride, determination, selflessness, dedication to duty, and integrity, all the qualities needed to serve a cause larger than oneself. Uh, one last quote before I close was said by Claudia Pemberton. She said, America without her soldiers would be like God without his angels. Think about that. Thank you all again for being here today for this recognition of our veterans. May God bless you. God bless our soldiers and veterans. And may God continue to bless the United States of America. Okay, Andrew, I want to say the Pledge of Allegiance if everyone will stand. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, now we're going to have Sheriff Tim Pounds come up and we're going to start our pinning ceremony. If everyone wants to sit, we've broken this up into branches. And like I said, today we'll be acknowledging the Army, the Navy, the Air Force, the Marines, and the National Guard. Collectively, we have 77 members. Um, everyone couldn't be here today. Like I said, we have one active member um, that's in Afghanistan. Um, I appreciate everyone that could come, and I appreciate all the supervisors getting you to get be here. All right, so I'm going to call that name. You want me to well, before you do that, I'm going to do it again. I'm trying to have welcome everybody, but I'm going to do it again because it's such an honor to stand here before y'all, not even knowing some of the faces I see out there. I never knew you was part of any branch of service. Never knew that. And it makes me more proud to see so many of us simply because I know you know what you're doing. Y'all doing what we call double duty. You know, this if you go out there and protect your country and then come over here, first of all, a lot of them don't make it back. A lot of them make it back. I can look out here and see some that made it back. That make me more proud. And the second thing, when you come in law enforcement, both of these jobs can result in a daily consequence. Both of them. 
but y'all done it and got by the first one, now you're trying the second one. I love y'all for that and thank God for you. May God continue to shine on you for the rest of your life. And I hope everybody in this room do a good job. If y'all ever need to share, y'all veterans or non-veterans too far, let go. Y'all can just let me know. But I am so proud of y'all. It's such a pleasure to stand here to go through this penance ceremony because I don't have a clue what I had. Thank y'all so much. Andy Cook, Aaron Smith, if you'll come up and get, let the sheriff pin you. <laughs> Rodney Hendricks. Jeremiah Montgomery. Brenton Russell. Charlie Clontz. <laughs> Chris Ernst. James Mitchell. <laughs> Keith Wood. Dennis Howard. Brian Bozeman. Craig Moreras. Dion Ray. Jeffrey Halls. <laughs> Kenneth Watts.
there, right? Anthony Cassidy. Chuck Catlin. Steve Simpson. Herman McCuller. That is all of our Army service men and women that rep are represented here today. So thank y'all very much. Um, next, we're going to do the Navy. Uh, Colonel Doug Oliver. Daryl Green. That is our two representatives from the Navy today. If you'll give them a round of applause. Can I miss anybody? Okay. Uh, Thomas Ray is in the Air Force. That's, that's who we're going to use for our representation today. <laughs> Next, we're going to do our National Guard, um, Anthony Manson. Chris Fields.
That is our National Guard. Can I give them a round of applause? <laughs> Last but not least, we're going to do our Marines. Um, Captain Alan Watkins. I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. <laughs> Trying to see. You're going to forgive me. I can't see who's where. Uh, James Barber. I'm just calling Ella up. I can't. Timothy Sagos. Clint Crumley. They're good. Chong Chun. Jay Hayes. Thomas Floyd. <laughs> David Greer. Bob Weaver.
Richard LaPointe. That's everyone that's in the Marines that's representing today. So if you give them a round of applause. I also wanted to say during this, I learned a lot about people. As Sheriff said, there's a lot of people that I never knew was in the service, and I outfit you all. Um, I do want to acknowledge, though, if you have served in dual branches, which surprised me, do you mind standing up? Pretty amazing, and we appreciate you. Um, at this time, I would like to ask Josh to say a closing prayer. Sheriff, do you have anything else you want to say? Yes. Oh, we have our chairperson here, and I may be mistaken. Didn't you serve? I'm going to give you a pen also, Chair, because serving is serving. Oh, Once again, ladies and gentlemen, as I said earlier, it's really and truly a pleasure to be here. Kind of brought tears to my eyes thinking about some of the things that may, could have happened, and think about some of the things that did happen to some of my friends that actually went there. So like I said again, it's, it's really true pleasure to stand here before y'all. Y'all working here at the Sheriff's Office and then serve your country too. It don't get no higher or no better than that, and I certainly appreciate it. Thank you very much. Hey everyone, if you'll bow your head one more time. Father God, in the name of Jesus, once again, thank you for this ceremony. Thank you for this time. Lord, I just want to acknowledge you as a giver of good gifts, and I, and I pray for a few of these men and women that are here today, Lord. Lord, I pray in response to their uh, war and their preparation for wars, Lord, that they would receive your peace that passes all understanding. Lord, in response to uh, the sacrifices they made, once again, I pray that you would bless them richly in everything that they do in response to the danger that they put themselves in, Lord. I pray that you would send your angels to protect them, Lord, and be a hedge of protection around them in everything that they do, Lord, and that they would feel your safety and peace and blessing in all their lives for the rest of their lives. And we thank you for all these things, and we pray it in Jesus' name. Amen. Servicemen and women, if you'll stand, we'll be glad to applaud you one last time, and we thank you for your service. <laughs>